Okay. So good evening once again. My name is Shashiraj, and I'm your I'm the host. So today we are going to discuss about better public speaking, becoming a confident, compelling speaker. What does it mean? That means that how you can be better public speaker with confident and that can be that can enchant, fascinate, attract the audience, the people with whom you interact, with whom you talk, with you, whom you uh, meet, right? So that is the meaning of this topic. Better public speaking, becoming confident, compelling speaker. We have a few points. So the thing is that before giving your presentation, before going to interact with audience, before going to your stage, so you should have some strategic plan. You should have plan in your mind. Then only you can speak before the audience, right? So guys, those who are co-host, please admitting the participants, right? So we have few points. So six points we have. So key points are chances are that you will sometimes have to speak in public as part of your role. While this can seem intimidating the benefits of being able to speak well outweigh any persuaded fear. To become a better speaker, use the following strategies. So we have strategies. First of all, plan appropriately, practice, engage with your audience, pay attention to your body language, think positively, cope with your nervous. So I think that you have already gone through the entire documents. So I would be telling you Actually, the thing is that it is in a written language, right? So I would be telling you in my own language strategies for, okay, this is, is this the second one? Okay, that's fine. Just a minute. Right. Yeah, just a minute. Okay. So strategies for becoming a better speaker. The thing is that before going to stage, you should have plan. You should have some strategies, right? How would you be interacting with the audience? How would you talk to audience? What is your preparations? the contents which you have to speak, the agenda which you have to present in front of the audience. So that should have been uh, so like prepared well or not, right? If you have not prepared well, then you cannot present yourself, okay? So the thing is that the good news is that speaking in a public is learnable skills. When you interact with your audience, right? When you see the audience, when you make eye contact with the audience, so different kind of faces, different kind of people with different kind of personality, right? It's a good chance. It's a great chance for you to learn lots of things. Like you should also get chance to learn facial expression, expressions and face reading, right? So many times when you deliver your speech in front of the audience, so that woman, when you are confident and when you have experience, right, giving presentation on the stage. So you can also read the face. You can also judge the questions, what the questions are running in the mind of the audience. So that can be said as a smart speaker. So you can use the strategy to become a better speaker and presenter. So the thing, the thing is that all the strategies should be in your mind for fascinating the audience. Good public speaking skills are important in other areas of your life. That's not necessary that you should be a good speaker for only on the stage. We have other fields. When you're working in any office or schools, in colleges, as a teacher, as a clerk, or as a, as a we can say that, uh, as an employee, right? So you also get chance to interact with different kind of people, different kind of people with strangers. So that if you have good skills, interacting with people, that means you can present yourself in well manner. You can fascinate, you can attract the people. The thing is that all the time you should look good. Your voice should be clear and crystal. You should be confident. Then only you can enchant the people. Then you can uh, impress the people. Okay, now the thing is that when you are in the field or industry of the public speaking, right, public dealing, that moment your job is to impress. Okay, and when only you can impress when you have ability to express. Are you getting my point? 
when you are able to express then only you can impress if you cannot express yourself you cannot impress okay so first of all you need to learn how to express yourself for this we should have public speaking skills you might be asked to make a speech at a friend's wedding give a eulogy for a loved one inspire a group volunteer at charity event short being good public speaker can enhance your reputation boost your self confidence and open up countless opportunities right the thing is that when you give your presentation presentation means you are presenting yourself your ideas your content your body everything you present to the audience right whether you work as a charity charity person right as a volunteer at a charity right and when you engaged in any wedding party so that moment you interact you attract you interact with people if you have good personality good voice good words good collections of words good range of the words then you can have good reputations you can have more opportunities many times like that happens with people those who are very good in languages those who are very much confident and they go to any wedding party and they meet with people the reputed people are or people who are already successful right so they can pick you they can they can imagine they can think that yeah i met a person in that in my friend's wedding party right he was very good his communication his skill his personality and everything was fantastic so i can can i get his contact number so in that in this kind of moment like person who was already good in speaking or communication skill or with good body language they can have chance they can have more opportunities right so that is why public speaking is very important the okay, next slide which we have just meant to be going for the next slide plan appropriately so the thing is as i have already told you in the beginning that you should have plan with systematic manner when you do this think about how important books first paragraph when you read any book so you know very well how important the first paragraph in the first paragraph the lines are good the content is good it can be said as a like uh, the 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 gist the extract in the beginning right if that paragraph has enchanted you then only you can read the entire book right the thing is that if your presentation the first time is good then only you can enchant or fascinate the audience right so the thing is that you should have plan with systematic manner the same principle goes for your speech from the beginning you need to intrigue your audience for example you could start with an interesting statistics headlines or fact that pertains to what you are talking about and resonate with your audience sometime you give any kind of story motivation story so all the points should be in your mind everything like 1 to 10 if all the things are in your mind then only you can present yourself all right so you should have plan in your mind now practice this is really very important point there is a good reason that we say practice makes perfect you simply cannot be a confident compelling speaker without practice before going to stage or before meeting to audience you should have practiced right the thing is that if you have practiced then only you can present all the points should be on the tip of your tongue do you understand the meaning of tip of tongue we have got the tongue the tip of the tongue is the terminal point of the tongue means all the words all the contents all the points should be there only this when you complete one line the another line should be ready to be expressed by you the another another line the another content the another agenda should be on your tip of tongue right and if you ask to any public speaker if you have already interacted or met with any public speaker ask him that before going to stage have you prepared 
the content, the agenda, he would say, yeah, I have already prepared. Do you know, they book the stage, they book the hall, right, for two days. In one day, they only practice two hours, three hours, four hours. They practice, they record and practice, they record and practice. All right. And when the time of the presentation, then they go with full preparation. Right. And if you ask to any singer that how much times or how many times have you practiced for recording your song, he would say that more than uh, 1000 times I have sung, song, sung this song. Then after that, I'm able to sing the song. After that, I'm able to record the song. So practice, practice, practice. Yes, you have to practice a lot. Okay. So one more thing I want to tell to you people that we come here every day. Do you know why? If we skip the sessions two days or one day, what would happen? Definitely, we won't be able to speak with confidence the way we are speaking right now. Okay, those who have been joining our meeting from the beginning for three, four months, right? Just uh, compare yourself the moment when you have joined and now you have got tremendous improvement in your communication skill just because of your practice. You practice, then only you can speak, right? So this is very, very important point. The next point, engage with your audience. Keep in mind that some words reduce your power as a speaker. For instance, think about how these sentences sound. I just want to add that I think we can meet these goals. I just think this is plan is a good one. The words just and think I think limit your authority and convictions. Don't use them. Right. The thing is that we have got some Indianism words like actually, basically, now I think, right, just to think about the plan, right, this kind of lines, right, when you speak these lines, that will show that you don't have confidence, you're not prepared, you're forgetting, right, when you are using these things, right, so that moment you cannot make a connections with the audience, all right, so, and uh, for making a good connection to the audience, just watch the eye of the audience, keep watching, keep uh, interacting and sometimes if somebody is doing any kind of thing so you can make a connection with that guy if somebody is walking just ask to that guy his name what he's doing right and you can also create a joke or uh, you can crap any kind of joke right you can create amusement with the public so that public would not feel bored they would keep paying attention on you if we have good connection with the audience all right so we're going to the next slide here we are pay attention to your body language so body language that's really very important you know once i have listened from one speaker he was from a famous speaker and he was saying that body language is not important why body language is important why you don't have to pay attention on your body. You don't have to pay attention on your hairstyle, your gesture, how you are sitting, how you are standing. That's not needed. Body language is not needed. I was thinking that why it is not needed. Then he said that if you are already a good speaker, if you have all the things in your mind, if you are confident, if all the ideas in your mind and audience likes you, right? they will not watch your body language and your gesture and posture and confident confident everything will move itself i was agreed with him do you know why just to think about when you were in school that moment when you have prepared your topic or any questions answer well and your teacher asked you come and give the answer of this question and you just spoke with confident without any stop without any pause without any hiccup with confidence and everybody after listening you started clapping on you did you pay atten pay attention on your body language no eye contact calm here 
nothing. All right. When you are prepared, when you have everything in your mind, all the contents are in your mind. So I think that that moment body languages are not important. Body language is important when sometimes you are not fully prepared. You are prepared, but you don't feel confidence. That moment, if your gesture and posture, your handshake, it has some jerks in your head and everything, it has some jerks. So it can also fascinate the people that can attract the people. If you have good jerks, jerks, you understand the meaning of jerks means when you, when we, when you, when I do like, like that hand, right? This, this is jerks. It is contrary. And I'm saying like this, 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 that's not good way, right? That's not good way, right? So that is called the jerks. So this is all about the pay attention to your body language. Body language should be like that. Like you should have well prepared your dress, well combed your hair, and where your face should be glowing, your shoes, everything should be well polished, right? Your belt and buckle and your tie and shirt, t-shirt, whichever you are wearing, that should be up to date. That is called the body language. The way you are standing, you have to, whether you have to close your leg or not, right? Whether you have to close your hand or not, right? That should matter. All right. So that is about the body language. Actually, the thing is that in public speaking, there are many things, so many things. I'm just telling you the important thing. And uh, one more thing I want to tell you to you people that whatever language you have, whichever native language you have, whether you speak Indonesian or Arabic language, or you speak Vietnam or English or any language you speak, right? This entire public speaking skills is required. If you don't speak English, that's not matter. If you're not speaking English, it doesn't matter that you are not intelligent person. If you are speaking your own language with confidence, if you have all the skills, interacting with people, fascinating with people, all the skills of public dealing, you can be a good speaker. And English is not required. All right. So think positively, you should have all the ideas, all the stories that should be positive, cope with nervous. Many times we are nervous. Why we are nervous? Because we are not prepared. We don't have idea. So just remove your nervousness. Take the water or have a smile. Think about the good things, good stories. Then you can remove your nervousness. Then watch recording of your speeches. This is really very important when you watch yourself when you listen yourself, then you can understand that how you are good. If you feel that now your video is good, your voice is good, your sound is good, then only give presentation. If you give feedback to yourself positively, that means you are prepared and compare your recording with the great speaker from the YouTube, just watch the speakers who are already prominent, famous, watch them, understand them, try to learn the skills from them, and then record. If you are feeling that you are getting some skills, you have that much of confidence, then give your presentation. Okay, so we have some questions. We know very well about the questions. So you'd, have, you'd be discussing these questions. We have around 20 questions. So you'd be dis discussing these questions, the breakout room, all right, guys, so that is all about the public speaking. So I've given you all the material and everything. And if you have any questions, anything, and if you want to share something about the public speaking, so you're most welcome, please talk to us. Otherwise, we, have, we are going to send you in the breakout room and you'll be practicing. Hey, Great. everybody. Hello, Barak, how are you? Fine, thank you, yourself. I'm great. Yeah. So, Beric, can I speak? Yes, of course. Can I speak for a while? Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you very much for giving me opportunity. So, recently, <clears throat> yeah, just because I work as an English teacher, and recently, yes, from September, I joined working as an English teacher, and and approximately a couple of weeks ago, 
uh, there was a competition among uh, teachers from all our, all around our school. I mean, city. So there were, you know, best speakers. And the topic was all about um, my big idea and its impact on online education. So each and every one of um, teachers had to speak uh, about this topic for about seven minutes unstoppably and present, uh, so, you know, slides. So, yeah, I'd like to say um, I was a little bit nervous in the beginning of my speech, just because there were um, mm -hmm. around 50 teachers, highly uh, experienced and professional teachers were staring, <laughs> yeah, staring at me and evaluating my knowledge. So yeah, eventually I took second place among um, 50 teachers. I took second place. Yeah, thank you very much. That's about it. I just mm -hmm. wanted to share. Even then, My, you are not yeah, confident. You were, feel, you were feeling nervous, and you got the second position. Yep, that's great. Yeah, I just wanted to share, yeah, share with with my experience about that's public great. speaking. That's great. Thanks okay. a lot. Thanks a lot for speaking. Anybody else would like to? Anyone? Okay, is there anyone else would like to say? Anyone? Yeah, hello, Sasi. I, I would like to say something. Please go ahead. Yeah, actually, I was not going any kind of presentation, but normally, like mm -hmm. one day, I think a couple of days ago, I was find a person. I just went for somewhere and that person is foreigner and he just asked me for some of the place because he was looking for it and he is not get he is not getting it. And this is come to me. And I once he just tried to approach me, I got nervous. Mm -hmm. Before giving the answer to her, I just thought she come to me and she is an English meme. Like something like this kind of thought is coming in my mind. What can I say if she will something ask to me? But mm -hmm. initial time, once she will asking a question to me, like I wanted to go for a red coat and uh, how can I just go? Then my mind got blank. Mm -hmm. But it take me, up, I think, a couple of minutes, 10 to 15 okay. minutes. Then mm -hmm. I just overcome on it. Like I said, no problem. If she is approach me and I will try to do and try to tell her the way it take me I think first one minute I am bit so much nervous but after that I have a conversation with her mm -hmm. I think two or three minutes and in the end I think I am talking with her so fluently but at the initial time so that first step I think that was so scary it's my personal experience was but the foreigner just, female yeah she is from I think Portugal it's in she is not alone see they uh -huh. they are in a like mob, there are three, four people. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe so because, I just maybe, got... maybe just because of that, because she was female, and uh, you start watching her, and you get chance to interact with female foreigner. So that also happened. All right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, right. If like uh, we are getting the we are using that platform, we have a talk with lot of foreigners. I think that that thing gave me a bit of confidence. Like yeah, I can talk with those guys so i can talk with them too mm -hmm. so like practice like you have like you previously mentioned if mm -hmm. you are doing a practice then you automatically gather that confidence exactly. and you automatically enhance your skill mm -hmm. so i think that thing suddenly come in my mind and i said okay no problem i will say something wrong but at least i have to try so mm -hmm. first step i think that was so scary but after mm -hmm. that i think it's become really normal yeah and if you yeah, ask that's all. if you ask to me that uh, have i interacted with any foreigners so i have not interacted facially to any foreigner so far okay, okay. actually i live in delhi uh -huh. so i think if you go went out you can find any no no i visited here. many places i have already visited many places Allahabad and agra right so there are so many foreigners in every okay corner of the city you can find so many foreigners walking on the streets in madhya pradesh i have visited right the thing is that uh, even I did not get any chance to interact with any foreigners face to face, right? Here only online, I'm able to interact, I'm able to talk to people. And uh, apart from this place, this platform, I don't speak English. The people okay, who are surrounded too. to me, they always speak in Hindi language and they don't speak in English. All right, fine. So the thing is that we will 
talk more about this topic after the breakout room now it's a time to join your breakout room please join your breakout room I'm going to open go and discuss more about the topic and the questions and after that we'd be having more conversation more discussion on the topic all right guys so please join your breakout room uh, open you might have got the link to join start joining fast join fast okay till the time i need to and we discussed on the question and it is most important topic that you bring mm -hmm. today and i really appreciate you for the topic i would like to thank you because this is very very important that everyone should discuss public speaking is very important for everyone we are scared of we are afraid of it thank you thank you very much for speaking and now the thing is that i have uploaded the video of last meeting that is national safety day in our youtube channel so i have, we have two youtube channel one is common skills and one is english globally here i already shared the link of our whatsapp group facebook instagram common skill english globally youtube channel instagram sorry and telegram group so you all please join and subscribe our channels and the last meetings videos here uploaded here you can watch yourself the conversation which you have done here in the main room you can watch and you can listen yourself you can understand what kind of improvement you require right and you can also watch the subtitle as i told you in the previous uh, meeting that uh, when you pronounce any word when you speak any line so the thing which you are speaking and subtitles both are matching the words are visible in the screen that means your pronunciation is right and if you are using wrong word if your pronunciation is wrong then subtitle would uh, write text the wrong words are you getting right so that is the purpose of uploading the videos so now over to our topic which we have already discussed so uh, i want that other participants should speak about the topic and the conversation which you have done in the breakout room so who would like to speak now about the topic or if you have any questions regarding public speaking or communication skill anything you can ask to me or we have more participants who are already good in communication skill they can also answer up your questions okay so any questions anything do you want to share with us please unmute and share and ask to us anything okay i have a one question just please like uh, yeah i myself not observing i'm just observing i'm not like experience these thing because lot of people like if somebody was prepare for something and during the public speaking if you talk about there is a some move inside a yeah, corner of the street people are talking about the politics sometimes they are talking about their normal random daily life things at that time if a person was telling a good thing then suddenly someone like uh, come and interrupt him and say no you are wrong but at mm. that time remaining other people believe like yeah he is saying wrong and we are also believing like that one person is a moron just because of him we don't have to be like stop like describing ourselves so at that time what we can do like we know we are delivering it the right way but one person was not getting it just because it's his problem as per my point of view at that time how we can motivate and like keep elevate our confidence hmm. so the thing is that when you are in the group and you are talking in and discussing in a particular topic right so and if someone else is speaking against the topic which is being discussed right so now it's a very good time for you to speak more to prove yourself the topic which you are favoring you have to prove okay you would push more about more your mind and if you are not able to speak that means your preparation is uh, uh, not well you have not prepared you don't have ideas did you get that <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, I got it. Say, but uh, would you like to would you like to allow me, uh, Shashiraz? Yeah, sure. Uh, sir, uh, I know Volu for the long time. That's my old friend. 
I guess. So, Bholu, actually, you need to give some reference to the person. You know, I know that there are many people that just like to magnify themselves, that they have good also confidence, they know all the things about the topic, anything. I know you cannot make them understand all time, but reference is the thing. It is the quality that you can show them. If you will uh, give them reference, they will, you know, easily understand what you're talking about. So you need to give a right reference that, yeah, I'm not talking by myself only. These are the things. This is the survey which is talking about the point, which is talking about the topic. You need to show them. They will understand that what you are talking about. Mm -hmm. That's all from my side. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. You should have data. You should have good preparation. Then only you can debate, you can discuss. As I told you that if you have ideas in your mind, if you have contents in your mind, then only you can speak. And if you're not able to reply, that means you're not prepared. Getting? Okay, thank you yeah, very much. I got you. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Thank you. What Anybody? I got, I think like, we have to be just give him the proper instance related to his question. Mm -hmm. So it become more easy to him to understood the particular topic. Mm -hmm. Yes. What you guys wanted to say, is it like that? Okay, remember one thing. Your purpose to communicate, your purpose to prove yourself, your purpose to dominate other people. Right. When you can dominate, when you have ideas in your mind, okay, when you have references, surveys, and data in your mind, then only you can dominate others. Okay. Okay. So, next questions, next uh, sharing, anything? Yes. Arun, would you like to say something? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we were four person, Ajita. Carlos and Nila. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a discussion about the, of the public speaking and of, uh, we have done five, uh, five uh, points, five questions. Yeah. But one question was very good. That uh, life on a road. Uh, it, it, we, we conclude this meaning that uh, we stand, uh, I stand, I stand in the front of people and the front of audience, like 200 or 200 or 100 people. And I only alone uh, they are some uh, uh, some portions and to, to me right uh, so I'm alive and uh, I'm uh, saving myself uh, in the from, from the vehicles portions uh, 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 and there are some challenges comes to me there's a vehicles so this is the way uh, uh, this is a, I, I thought that this is right or wrong sir no, just actually the thing is it's whichever you are saying according to yourself that's a right and it's a depend upon the person whether he is agreed with you or not. Okay. 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 Whichever points okay. you have, whichever you are saying, that's your own way. That's your own perception, which is your no own notions or idea, you can say. Okay. That's right. That's absolutely right. And the thing is that when you are presenting yourself, your idea, matter is that how much effective your presentation, how much effective your idea your speech, your sound. Okay. Many times your voice is good. Your sound is good. You have good confidence, but your ideas are not good. Still, you can dominate the intelligent people. Remember one okay. saying, one saying, remember all the people, listen carefully what I'm going to say. A foolish person, a foolish person with preparation can defeat intelligent person without preparation have you got what i said yes sir yes sir i got that got thank you so much sir okay great now okay. anything else thank you sir any other questions anything any other conversation whichever you want to share with us please share and discuss any problems which you are facing. Sheikh Miraz, do you want to say something? Yes, Indiana, sir. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, I'm audible, sir. Yeah, you are audible. Yes, sir. I want to say that uh, once uh, we are uh, we are 
I'm going to become a, a good speaker, means a public speaker, we can just start from our native language because it needs confidence. Once we say confidence, definitely it needs to do uh, something naturally because, because English is not our native language. We have to prepare for that. So we need something to do. It needs some phases. We have to cross some phases. Maybe it needs eye to eye contact. You have to talk with your uh, family members, sometimes with your uh, friends. You should come up with preparation. So once it will, we will cross those, those phases, definitely we will reach at a level. But one more important, I want to uh, add here, book reading is important. You know, until and unless you are not, you know, you know, confidence, where from you will get the confidence? By becoming a regular and punctual reader. So once you are a good reader, definitely you will become a, uh, you will become a fluent speaker. And although you, while you are, uh, you know, uh, delivering a lecture, maybe you are, you are at the, on the stage and you are speaking something, definitely it will bring a flow in your language and maybe you are sometimes in a tough situation and you will be able to handle the situation complex situation for me book reading is very much important if you are even it had been we come across many good speakers they are always already there is something at their back that is they are good good readers they had been a punctual reader so information then uh, you know timing this uh, information in a proper way in an organized way definitely will become an effective speaker it's not an game it is an art so it, this art need to be learned that's all from my side. Thank you. Sir. Exactly. Reading book is very good skill. And uh, many people, they don't have skill to read. Many people, they are not habitual of reading book. Even if you talk about myself, I'm not habitual of reading book, but I love to read book. And the second thing is that I don't have more time to read the books, but I love to re read book. I have many books. So I have many PDF books and I have also collections of books physically. But the thing is that I don't get time. When I used to uh, study in colleges, that moment I used to study, I studied so many books and I gathered so many knowledge. And after reading book, I used to make gist, I used to make extract of the book. It's whatever the main points, what the books wants to express. I just wrote down all the things. Even I have the diary. This is very old diary. This one is very old diary. I always keep this diary. You can watch it is 2004 you can watch if you are able to watch it's a 2004 diary okay it's a very old diary you can understand that how old is it i have written the gists and everything what i used to study what i used to read okay so that extract that just giving me the ideas now because nowadays i don't get time to read the books but the preparation which i had done 15 years back it's working now okay that's a very good thing reading books get the skills of reading it's really very important and if you don't get the books you can also get the ideas many good articles are published in the newspaper magazines that can also provide to good idea right thank you very much Sheikh Miraj for giving such a nice idea okay anybody else want to share something here Yes, yeah, so, uh, yes, please. Yes, yeah, so for example, to join this meeting, some of us need to have the art of public speaking. And also, I had already the opportunity to, to talk with a, a lot of people on the other side when I was joining a Zoom meeting like this. And so we should be courageous at this time when we are talking here. And possibly we would not join these meetings if we had shame and to talk in, in public. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so and we need to be, be able to, to talk with more people when we want to talk in English, for example, okay? Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ariardo. Even though I was trying to understand you and I understood what you wanted to say here before the meeting, you were not able to interact. Now you are able to do. That's a very good thing. That's a really, very good improvement. Thank you for joining every day. Eduardo, you have been joining us for the long time. 
more than six months. That's great. It's a great effort. Yeah. Okay, so Eddie, hello Eddie, Eddie and Rebe. Hello, folks. Hello, folks. How are you, man? <laughs> Great. It's a good time when I am here just for learning English because all the time I can learn something from you, Sashira. You are I, I, something like a coach. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good time, bro. Okay. So, did you have conversation with our participants in the breakout room? Yeah, I think it's uh, Ohio, the guy. I forget this, no? but the Gustavo is from Peru. Mm -hmm. uh, they, are, they are with me. I don't remember his name, but the guy is very smart. Our guys should be smart. All the participants yeah. should be smart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hello, Rebe. Rebe, can you hear us? Okay. Anybody else? Because it's a time to wind up the meeting and I'm going to wind up. Before winding up, please speak something at the last. Yes, Rebe, please tell about yourself first of all. Hello. Hello. Hello, yeah, you're audible. Rebe, tell about yourself. Probably she's not a public speaker. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, that's okay. Fine, guys. So now I'm going to end the meeting. Please unmute yourself and say goodbye to all. And uh, maybe so... he has some internet uh, problems. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, guys. So please say goodbye to all. And thank you very much for right, joining. Guys. Have a wonderful goodbye time. Goodbye to all of you. Enjoy your time. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank thank you. you very much. So have a great time. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you. Thank you.